long time to get up here to talk to us today. I'm guessing that's because you wanted to have words with the players. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, you you go from such a two strong second half performances in the last both games, uh, and you know, you, you you sort of scratching your head. You know, you give a team a two good two goal head start. Uh, and now being disrespectful, probably gifted them two goals, uh, and that's the that's a real sort of concern and disappointment you have as a manager that you know you we've done so much work since Tuesday night on how to deal with Denton, and. Uh, we didn't take responsibility of the first dead ball. It's, you know, it's, a, it's so basic. You know, he pulls off between two people. Uh, wasn't marked right. Wasn't picked up off the right people. Who we have people doing. I'm not going to dig anybody out because, you know, it's, it's, it's early doors. But, you know, I've, I've spoken in depth with certain individuals regarding the leadership. And, you know, you've got to be consistent. Got to have a consistency in your play. Uh, and, you know, we had a 15-minute spell. Where you, you give them two goal starts, and the longer the game goes on, you know they, they have something to defend. Well, that's the thing. You've done everything you possibly can to tell these players to prepare them for this game. You told us about it on Thursday. As soon as I walked into the ground today, I saw Dave Penny, and Dave Penny was talking about Denton and uh, Pennycat up, up front as well. He knew all about it. Your players knew all about it. And then to give away those two goals and basically give them a two-goal head start in the opening 15 minutes, you give yourselves a massive mountain to climb. Yeah, and you know that is the disappointment because you know you. You look at the positives, you know, the amount of set players we had, and you, you've got to take your chances. We had three, four, five chances where on another day, and you know, it, it, some of the bits of open play, uh, it, second half was great, but you know, you've got to grind out results, you've got to stay in the game. And the first half today was not in the first half against Tuesday night, it wasn't an outstanding first half, but what we didn't do, we didn't concede in the first 45 minutes for, on Tuesday night. Today, you've got a massive, massive job on your hands. Uh, and you know, on another day, certainly with the chances that you created, and that that was the positive. That was a real positive of that. You know how good the second half was, and the crowd were great. And I will say, you know, stay in the game. It'd be big saying in football, stay in the game, and you know, grind out one nil results. And I've, I've talked to players in depth about the the discipline that we've got to show and be hard to beat, uh, but also having that leadership and taking responsibility of your jobs as well. And I appreciate it. it's only a small positive at the minute after the, the two one defeat, but. Is one of the positives you'll take away from this again is your, your substitutes they had an impact when they came in? They did, they did. I thought certainly the two forwards. Uh, I thought you know they, they, they give us a little bit more, a bit more, uh, not so much energy, but I think John was great. You know he, the ball didn't come back. I thought you know he, he, the ball he puts down from McCauley and I think it was an outstanding finish by the way. He's got an awful lot to do and you know he's uh, you know, anything a yard further in the keeper makes a big save, but. It's a fantastic finish. So it's great as a manager that you've got four very good forwards that are all challenging, and uh, when two come on, they give me a great opportunity to sort of uh, push on again. And you know, it was it was good, but just disappointed. You know, I felt you know certain players in the box today, offset players four and, and in general play had good chances to score, and uh, we didn't make the keeper work. You know, we headed them over, we had them wide, and uh, they, were, they were great chances. And I, I honestly believe if they dropped a Denton, they'd become goals. Yeah, you were. Hamstring, I suppose, a little bit right at the start of the game with the, the injury on this, on this left hand side. How is he? Yeah, I think just neat and knee. I thought that play was going to come off as well. But I think, you know, again, split second, he beats him, he's to one goal. Uh, and you could have been 1 0 up. And that was fine lines. And I thought he just got the a yard on him. But, uh, you know, there was a collision of knee to knee. But hopefully it'd be for Tuesday. You were talking about Alex Kempster. David Ferguson came on for him. Is that where you see him playing most of his time this season? Further up on that left hand side rather than the left back position that we saw him most of the time last year? Well, I'm not wanting to chop and change the back four. You know, I think Sean Newton's done great in the, in the, in the three league games there. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to make sure that we work with Sean there. But Ferguson, we know, can be a replacement as a full back, but I think he does better going forward than, than deeper, personally. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, as I said to you, you know, he's, he gives that natural balance of a left footed player. People are saying it's a bit all after the Lord Mayor's show after after Tuesday night, the second half performance on Tuesday night this afternoon. How do you ensure that you get a better performance at Ashton United, a team that's just come up to this level, have had a decent start to this season as well, and maybe just a few months ago, games against York City in a league game, probably they didn't think that was going to be possible. Yeah, and it's a big game for them, you know, and uh, you know they've had a good start this season, and we've got to make sure that we go there and uh, you know be, be solid, be disciplined. Uh, Fitness levels, hopefully, as today were proved to be strong, and I think that's one good thing that you know. I think we're finishing games very, very strong this season, uh, 
and so they should, they're full time, there's no excuses for that, but we've got to make sure that we we solid as a team and we, we don't give cheap, sloppy opportunities and invite uh, an uphill battle because, you know, when you do, don't care what level you play at, it becomes so difficult to break a team down over 90 minutes when they've got two goals head start. I suppose at York City as well in this division, you're always fighting that battle as well, aren't you, to keep everyone positive and keep everyone, everyone on board, whether it's you or the players, anyone to round this football club? Yeah, and I thought the crowd were great this afternoon. You know, I think, you know, second half, we got on the front foot, we're driving forward and, you know, the, 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 ball, the ball down the side, it goes around the keeper, you know, I think it's a handball, but again, you know, the energy was great and, it, and with that energy, what came the energy from the crowd, so, but that only goes so far, we, it's about winning games, it's about being disciplined and consistent in your performances and we've got to make sure that doesn't happen again. That's the York City manager, Martin Gray, Thank talking you. to us live here. On